Good evening and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 13th of February 2020 and the time has just gone 18.15 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is Euro Sterling. Um, we can see here that the kind of wider term view really since August uh, has been very much of the downtrend. Uh, we've seen a very kind of classic example of lower lows and lower highs uh, throughout August through December, a bit of a rebound in December. It couldn't really get above the zero spot 86 mark through through December and January, and it seemed to be turning lower yet again. Um, there's obviously been some big political news here in the UK today. Uh, we've had a change up, a reshuffle uh, in, the, in the cabinet. There was the, there was the shock resignation of the UK Chancellor, Sajid Javid, uh, and he's, he's been replaced by Rishi Sunak. Uh, and this has been seen as very positive for the British pound. Uh, there are some reports circulating and there's some chatter going around that Prime Minister Johnson chose uh, uh, Rishi Sunak um, for the role uh, as, he, as it's felt that it would, it would be, let's say, easier for um, the British Prime Minister to influence um, the Chancellor of the Exchequer in terms of pro-business policies. It's no secret that Boris Johnson uh, the Prime Minister of the UK is really hungry to actually kind of um, do some sort of spending spree, have some, some sort of, sort of a, a, a kind of a aggressive uh, kind of not stimulus package, but try and introduce pro-business policies and try to kind of shake off the kind of the malaise that's been kind of hanging over the UK economy in recent months, given the uncertainty in relation to the, 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 the UK's exit from the European Union. So it's viewed as this could be um, this could be. Um, the kind of front runner for a, quite a pro-business um, budget, which is going to be due out next month. So, like I said, we've seen sterling gains across the board. But I also picked this currency pair not just because of the of the story surrounding sterling, but also because of the weakness surrounding the euro. So, even before we had the political change up in the UK today, we had we we see consistent weakness in the uh, in the euro across the board. So, for example. Yesterday and, and and again today we've seen declines in the uh, in the euro versus the US dollar euro sterling sorry the US dollar versus the euro euro dollar yesterday and today with that fell down fell down to you know, multi-year lows levels last seen in May 2017 um, this euro is, is lower has fallen to a multi-month low against the Japanese yen it's in a multi-year low against the Swiss franc so it's a very common theme here we've seen declines across the board in the euro. Um, and if you look at one, one of the tenets of Dow theory is that the averages must confirm each other. So what that essentially means is that if, if there's a, a common thre kind of a common thread in the market or, or if markets that are reasonably of, of a common link are moving in the same direction, in this case, the euro seems to be seems to be pushing lower against all the major currencies, it's more likely that that trend is going to continue. Obviously, there are no guarantees, but it just makes it more likely. So looking back here on euro sterling, what could we see? We've seen an aggressive move to the downside in the last few days in the euro versus the, uh, the British pound. We could look to be retesting the early kind of mid-December lows in at zero spot 82.76. And should we go below that, it could take us back down towards this area here, zero spot, uh, apologies, uh, back down towards 82. And even if you go beyond that, it could take us potentially to this area here. There isn't really much if you go below 82. It could take us to zero spot. 80, 81.56. That's uh, that's the kind of price level to keep an eye on to the downside. Should we see a snapback in euro versus the British pound? This zone here, in around 0 0.84, there's a bit acted as a bit of support on the way down. It could potentially act as resistance to a rebound, but we'd really need to be heading back above this blue line, the 50-day move, moving average, and also this area here. The early February highs in at zero spot 85.38, and if we do go beyond that, we can then potentially look to target this zone zero spot 86. And for me, if while we remain south of zero spot 86, it's likely we could see the wider downward trend on euro sterling continue. Now, if you are going to be trading uh, the euro sterling pair tomorrow or any of the euro crosses, it's worth noting that we have a couple of important economic indicators from the eurozone of tomorrow. I'm looking here on our market calendar, which can be found on our trading platform. You click on news and analysis, third option down. This is it here. Tomorrow morning, these are all UK times. 
7 a.m. tomorrow morning, we have the flash estimate of German GDP. And at 10 a.m. Uh, UK time, we have the flash estimate of Eurozone GDP. So these are going to be very important to keep an eye on, uh, depending on how the economic indicators come in. We could see volatility in Euro uh, across the board. Uh, and, well, that's all for me uh, on this particular video. Thank you for listening and have a good trading week.